Hi, this is Enola. So I'm going to be showing you how to use Colab with Zindi. So let's go to Colab. Uh, you can just search Colab on Google. Then the first page will be this. Just search Google Colab, you get to this. So Colab is, uh, it, it can be an, uh, we can call it an online Jupyter notebook. So it provides you with GPU, which helps you with a faster computing. So I'm just going to be creating a new notebook. This is the interface to create a new, new notebook. Just come down here and click this. But I have this notebook already, which I'm going to be using. So let me go back to Zindi. All right, so we know this is Zindi. So Zindi provides us with competitions for Africa data scientists. So we'll just check a competition. Okay, I'm going to be using this competition. So I'm just going to be showing you how to load your data set on Colab and how to use it for Zindi, how to participate in the competition. So to participate in the competition is actually very easy. So this is Zindi, just like join the competition. If you have not joined, then to submit, you click on submit. So I'm just going to be downloading this data set. So I've downloaded the test train and sample submission already. Just click here, you'll download it. But since I've downloaded it, I won't be downloading again. So I'll just cancel. So let's go back to Colab. Um, I prefer working with dark team actually. So I'm just going to change it to dark. Yeah, save. So we see a runtime here. So from runtime, you can change it. So you can decide that, okay, you need the GPU, change it here. So I'll just leave it as known. So this is where your files will be stored. So there are actually different ways to call in your data set in Jupyter in a Colab. So like you can decide to host your data on Google Drive and you can just decide to upload it. So if you want to upload your data set, you can just do it manually. Just come down here and upload. I've downloaded the data already. Yeah, it should be, should be here. Okay, so this is my test. Then where's my train? Mm, this is my train. So I'll just upload it manually. So I will upload. So, so I'm just going to import in the libraries I'll be using. So in Colab, you don't have to manually install some libraries. For example, Pandas and NumPy have been installed automatically SKLN. So I'll just import it, import NumPy as uh, NP, import Pandas as PD. So this is automatically installed for you. So if you need some special library like Catboost, Catboost is not installed on Colab, so you have to install it via this. This is how we install libraries that are not installed on Colab. So you do pip install Catboost to install Catboost. So this will help us install Catboost since Catboost is not installed on Colab. So LG Boost is installed already on Colab. You don't need to install LG Boost if you want to use it. Uh, also LG Boost, LG Boost and SG Boost. So uh, this is still loading. So let's just quickly go to our drive, my drive. So I created a folder in this drive, then I uploaded uh, the data set already, the train test and sample submission. So you can decide that you want to read directly from your drive instead of uploading the data set manually. So I'll just go back to Zindi. Let's say I want to read for my drive. Can you see this place my cursor is pointing to? So I'll just mount my drive. So if you mount your drive, it will automatically drop the code for you. So this is the code in which you use from google.colab, import drive, then drive.mount. So once you do this, once it runs, it provides you with a URL. So from this URL, can get the authorization code. So let's just go to the URL. Oh, it's loading. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just going to be using the first one. So this is the mail I'm going to be using since that is where the data set is stored, the drive. Okay, so we allow once you allow, you see the code, then we copy the code and paste it back to Zindi here. So once you paste the code here, 
and we are all set. So you copy the code, then come back to Zindi. So I paste it here. And if I click enter, my drive will be automatically mounted. Yes, so it's loading. So automatically we can see drive here. So my drive is already mounted. So I'll just come down here, come to my drive. So I can remember that I use Zindi with Colab to store it so we can see our data set. So if I just copy the parts, so I can just read it, I'll just say test is equal to pd.read csv, then paste the part here. So if I run this, I have my test already. So if I call test.add, we'll see my data. So this is the data. So Colabs helps us with all this. Then there's another way in which you can read your data set also without having to mount your drive. So I have the code here. Okay, so to do this, we have to import some libraries. You have to import a request. So we need the request and we need string I. So I'm just going to run this. Then you need to copy the link. You go to your Google Drive, then you have to copy the link, the link of the data. So let's go back to our drive. I'll just go back to our drive. So I'm just going to be copy the link. I'm just going to use only train. So I'm just going to share. So once I do share, once I share, I'll be able to see the link. Change to anyone with the link. Yes, yeah, so I'll just copy the link. Copy link. Okay. So I'll just put it to anyone with the link and edit. So after that, I'll copy the link. Once the link is copied, go back to Zindi, put the link here, train. So if I run this, I'm just going to come back here very fast, copy this out. So, so this is the function that is going to be helping us read automatically from, from our drive. So with this function, anytime you're Collab shuts down. You don't need to come here to come and upload your data set again. So with this function, you just need to read directly from Collab and your data set is here. So once we run this, so since I've copied the link for the train here, so I'll just say train is equal to, then this is the, so I'll just say read underscore CSV. Then I'll put the parts this is the part train. So if I copy this and put it here, if I run this and call my train, so if it's check train.add, you can see automatically we see the data set. So this actually helps you. So once your notebook shuts down, you don't have to upload your data set again. Automatically, you just run this line of code, then your, you find your data. So this is actually very helpful. So Collapse helps you with computing power. You don't need to start installing some libraries manually and like faster computation. So once you are done with your computing, you can just export your result to CSV. So for example, I can decide to take this train. So let's say this is my result. I can decide to say train dot to CSV. So if I say to CSV, I can, decide to put it in my drive, or I just upload it to this folder. So I'll just say, uh, let me call it um, uploaded.csv. So once I do this, once I do this, it will show down here. If I refresh, we refresh with this. So you can easily download this. Once you download it, once you download it, you can go to your Zindi. If you need to submit, if that's your results, you can just go to Zindi, then you submit it. So this is where you submit. So I hope this actually helps you. Thank you for your time.